Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The images what you are seeing are from Aeronautical Test Range ETR Chitradurga Karnataka where we could see at least 3 Tapas BH RPS. The Indian Air Force officials had visited the facility as a part of their final phase of FTC curriculum where they have undergone an intensive short capsule course on RPA and US at ADE Bengaluru This advanced program was aimed at providing the FTC officer with comprehensive insights into the details of design development and testing of RPAs and their ecosystems The training of Indian Air Force FTC officers on tapas is a positive indication for the indigenous RPA program Now during Aero India 2023 the entire air coverage was provided by tapas and the video for the same can be seen on the screen the rpa has taken off from chitradurga which is approximately 180 kilometers away from bengaluru and it was streaming live video feed of aero india show from an altitude of nearly 15000 feet talking about tapas or tactical airborne platform for aerial surveillance Beyond Horizon 201 or Tapas BH201 it is going to be a completely indigenous male UAV every system that goes into the bird including engine is going to be indigenous the UAV features jam resistant detailing system that enables it to operate beyond line of sight up to 1000 km so the important features of Tapas is robustness reliability secured data link autonomous take off and landing and advanced ground control station the same ground control station can be used to fly other indigenous uavs which will be archer ng and short range weaponized uav or sr uav this approach is going to reduce overall life cycle cost of tapas and other indigenous uavs tapas will be able to operate at an altitude of up to 28000 feet with an endurance of 18 plus hours it is a highly reliable uav with fail safe architecture employing redundant indigenous high rail subsystem the ground operation suite is reconfigurable and highly advanced state of art system for current as well as for future uavs tapas will have a range of 250 km and can carry payload of up to 350 kg It is integrated with SATCOM and can carry EO or SAR and electronic warfare payload. The UAV has been tested for more than 170 plus flights with different payload and mission profiles. The user trials of Tapas is planned from second quarter of 2023. The other two indigenous UAV under development are Archer NG and short range weaponized UAV or SR UAV. Talking about Archer NG, it is going to be single engine twin boom UAV designed to perform I-STAR and strike missions. It will have line of sight range of 250 km and beyond line of sight range of 1000 km. It can operate at an altitude of 30000 feet with an endurance of 18 plus hours. Archer NG will be able to carry 300 kg of weapons payload which will include smart anti-airfield weapon and anti-tank guided missile. It will be integrated with SATCOM and can carry EO SAR and electronic warfare payload. The maiden flight trial of UAV is planned in July 2023. The next UAV is short range weaponized UAV or in short SR UAV which is DRDO's rebranded Archer UAV. It will be able to gather near real time high quality imagery and signals intelligence with light attack capability. It could possibly carry two anti-tank guided missile. The UAV will be able to operate at an altitude of 22000 feet with an endurance of 12 hours and a range of 250 km at present the uav is under validation phase of upgraded avionics architecture through flight trials and release of anti tank guided missiles this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this I would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector